stock technical analysis let's have a look at tesla on a daily chart so this is a daily chart of tesla and it's been a while since we haven't looked at it but let's have a look so if you can see on a daily chart we have been talking about this downtrend for a while so basically since the end of the next year and um, the beginning of actually this year and at the moment you can see basically tesla from its highs down a little more than 50 percent okay and market capitalization of tesla pretty much hit one trillion dollar mark and now at the moment is 577 billion all right so what i'm looking at on a daily chart so if you look at even daily chart let alone bigger picture it's been coming down okay this is a downtrend it's not playing along with the market overall market but it doesn't mean that it can have a really ripping bounces uh, on its way down so and here um, i'll show you uh, moving averages where i pay attention to 50 day whenever stock gets basically really really overextended above its 50 day moving average or it gets very overextended to the downside as well until it catches up that moving average here's what i'm talking about so basically if you look at the this chart i have lots of lines right so the yellow line here represents 50 day simple moving average okay let's leave this uh, mark right here and i'll tell you what i'm talking about here so basically every time stock is gets really really overextended to the upside above its 50 day moving average um, it tends to um, it doesn't stay overextended up there it usually catches up with 50 day moving average and same thing with to the downside so whenever you see stock very very far away from its 50 day moving average that means it's pretty oversold but at the same time it does not mean that it has to bounce right back to catch up with this 50 day moving average just like it happened right here if you can see it what happened is that stock pretty much moved sideways until it caught up with 50 day moving average as soon as it got back above it it started pushing higher so whenever you see stock below its 200 day moving average which is red line on my chart it's it's bearish okay on a bigger picture 200 day basically one year we have 200 something days trading days in a year so at the moment bigger picture yes it's in a downtrend but right here right now i'm watching basically for tesla uh to to try to bounce and here are the levels i'm watching so basically first level to clear uh, for the bulls would be somewhere around here 185 186 above that level it has another resistance if it gets back above it we have another resistance at around 202 so that's another resistance if it gets back above and by that time I'm, I'll basically uh, be watching this 50-day moving average come down and maybe Tesla can uh, stay in this range and burn some premiums because there are a lot of time i have seen a lot of volume to the downside puts and usually when you see extreme to one side uh like a lot of people buying crazy puts stock tends to not go down any further or when you see a lot of people get overly bullish uh, market will basically uh, chill and it will burn premium and um, a lot of people will basically get out or close out their positions or those strikes that they picked very far outside of the money they will just expire worthless so that's what i'm looking for tesla to the downside if you think that tesla can go a lot more to the downside it needs to get back below 165 which it made right here so i'm gonna put a 165 support right here for now uh, it's not a support it's basically um, it, you can actually watch it as a support as well because it was high in 2022 um, in 2020 basically before um, Tesla was set to join S&P 500 so this high right here and then from there it was pretty much chopping around 
until basically there was a news that it's it's about to join s p 500 and then you got a rip and then uh it did clear this level so yeah so that 165 is a support i'm watching if it does um go below that level well we can we can go a lot lower it can go all the way to 120 one um 117 but we're not going to run too much ahead but that's the basically uh, on a daily going into basically christmas time i'm watching for tesla i'm not i'm not gonna uh be extremely bullish or extremely bearish going into uh christmas for tesla because it has done a pretty big move also i want to show you on a monthly chart for a better um better picture uh let's just pull up monthly chart just for this year and see what's going on this year alone if you look at these candles every month every candle represents one month all right and what you can see is it was positive only two months and it erased those months very quickly you can see it was positive in march and it was positive in july in march it did basically reverse all those gains in one month actually in well after july's uh huge move up tesla basically uh, uh gave up all those gains in three months it did take a little bit longer but it did give up all those gains but we can see something like this in december it doesn't have to be big move like it did here uh, but i'm expecting the stock basically very very likely to come up all the way to 202 dollar levels so that's what i'm watching for tesla and it's been very very um tricky to play its options unless you're playing daily options so after that three to one stock split there's not much uh, opportunities to play tesla unless you're playing super short term and you are pretty much nimble with your profits nimble with your yeah getting in and out despite looking at these charts where tesla basically you may, it may seem like it's clean downtrend right here but when you trade it when you are in it it wasn't as easy as it looks like on the chart so yeah that's the that's the video for tesla and i'll see you guys in the next video take care peace